Hello, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to be comparing these Lego dinosaurs to these Montoy ones. So, let's get into it. Looking at the box, let's start with the Dilophosaurus. You see, they got the French version down there, so you can tell where I live. Uh, so, this is Dinosaur Block Set. It's Montoy. I don't know if I'm going to get... Um, sued for saying that you can see that they did cover up the lego um like you can see well, i don't think you can see but you can kind of see that right there it says lego they used the um pictures for from the actual sets that these imitations were from um so you can see the articulation and stuff moving parts so yeah so it says dilophosaurus and just yeah you can see what so, yeah, I don't want to waste too much time on the box. It's basically the same thing, just the articulation and stuff. The thing I don't really like is how could this fit in this box when that's how big it is. Okay, well, I'm going to open these up. Um, I don't know if... Uh, yeah, I probably won't need a knife. Obviously, I did need a knife. Okay. Oh, no. What did they? What have they done? What is this? Bunch of junk. That's basically what this is. Okay. So, looks like you have to assemble it yourself. Well, obviously, but like, everything you have to assemble. Both. Well, when I first saw these, I thought that you had to, like, Assemble the molds and stuff, but clearly I was wrong. Wait, what? I was like, what the heck? Oh, yeah. Okay, one sec. I'm just gonna. Looking at this, I really don't like it, honestly. It's kind of good. So, the mouth moves up and down. It goes like that. It does it like, it just has normal circulation that a Dilophosaurus would have. Or like a raptor. They basically just shrunk the um T Rex body and head and popped it on Raptor and Dilophosaurus or Dilophosaurus in Stingy Moloch legs and gave him Raptor arms. So <laughs> can't wait to see the Dilophosaurus. This is the original. You can see how small it is. If you wanted like a baby T Rex, then that would, this would be pretty good they do okay my gosh Rosie what are you doing here what are you doing Rosie wants to be a part of the, the video too so um yeah there's not really much to say about that okay part that we've all been dreading what have they done yeah, this is yeah, this is what like I meant. You had to like assemble the mold together. Okay. Well, <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll just assemble this real quick. Okay. Now the Dilophosaurus. Kind of hate having stuff around here. Um, it's there's a couple. It's basically the same thing, honestly. Just it's just a couple difference. This is the rubber tail is plastic. No paint on the teeth or claws, feet. No Lego logo here. And it is just very hard to keep that together. Like, it, there's, yeah. There are, it's actually pretty good, but um, the, the nose just doesn't want to go together. And, uh, yeah. So I'll just grab a base plate here real quick. So... Hey, these things actually surprisingly really stick to um, the base plate. That is actually not that good for like stop mo motion. Like, these are just really good because like they kind of like, yeah, they just want to like, like you can like move the, yeah. The base plate will, 
if you're like working with a big base plate connected to other things, it's really good. But if you're like building with this and it's taped down or something like, or build a bigger one, and it's, yeah, it's gonna, it's just yeah. Um, so my opinion on these, if you wanted the Lego dinosaurs and didn't want to buy them off of Bricklink or stuff like that, these are a good alternative, but there's just a couple of problems. <laughs> Number one, they're oily. Very, very oily. You could literally fry an egg on them. And that's just pretty gross. <laughs> um, the jaw is pretty loose on the Dilophosaurus. Yeah. Um <clears throat> the like the claws are painted and I just don't see how this could be that. It's kind of false advertising. Because they said you're gonna get that. And you get this little hunk of crap. And you're very disappointed. The Dilophosaurus, on the other hand, it's basically the same thing, but just the different colors of teeth and stuff. Like they wanted to keep it on a budget and stuff. Um, I just, yeah, I just don't really like them. But if you wanted Lego dinosaurs but didn't have a lot of money, you could get these. Um, so that's basically all. I don't really know what to say anymore. Oh, yeah, I guess I could show you the paint job. Um, it's pretty good, honestly. Uh, basically, they just shrunk the, the um, printing and put it on a smaller body. And another thing I could do is just see how a Lego guy can hold up. Okay, that's really weird, because, like, this doesn't want to come off, and this just wants to come off, so, I don't know. Yeah. Oh my gosh, those things want to stay on. Yeah, same with this guy, so. I'm... The uh, color, actually, in real life, is a little bit different. Um, this is like lime, this is like a darker lime. I literally just woke up like 10 minutes ago, so I'm tired. Um... Yeah, so, I do not know what else to say about these guys. If you wanted Lego Dinosaurs, buy a, yeah, if you're on a budget. So, they're a little bit false advertising. So, that's basically all for this video. I kind of don't really know what else to say, and what, like, what I could say, like, it doesn't really want to stay on. It's just, it's a really, really cheap plastic. And yeah, so I went to Dollarama, saw these guys, thought it would be a cool video idea. So yeah, and looking back on the back, I kind of just mangled this to shreds. So you have blue. I think, this, I, I think that's Charlie. Delta. I do not know him. That's what I'm guessing. Or Echo. I don't know. But they got the Indominus, the Trandon, Trike. And I I have all of these except these three. Like in like real Lego. Um, but I have the newer Indominus, and my dog chewed up my Trandon. So, and we've never had a Triceratops, so then you should be looking forward to that in the future. Um, yeah, so that's basically all, and see you later. Don't mind all the squeaking.